actually St. Patrick's Day, so I'm looking a little festive. I got a little bit of green on. If you're watching this right when I post it, you're like, Alexis, you waited until the day before you posted to film this? Yes, I did. And that's how, that's how my week's going this week. Let's talk about my apartment. How are you doing today? I hope you are having a very great day. It is super gloomy here today in New York. I don't know why every time I film a video, I'm updating you on the weather as if you care. A lot of you have found my channel through my apartment series. I had a 10 part moving series. If you're new here and you somehow missed it, if you did, that's really impressive because that was the bulk of my channel for like three months. But I moved into a studio apartment back in January. I filmed my entire journey looking from November 1st until the day I moved in on January 20th. So we had a lot of content, a lot of stuff going on, a lot of moving pieces. I moved in and I got all of my basic furniture furniture and everything that I needed, but I didn't get everything that I wanted up front because honestly, my bank account could not handle it. I have so many ideas for this apartment, but it was so expensive to move. In New York, you usually have to pay a broker's fee. You gotta pay first month's rent. You have to pay a security deposit. You have to pay movers. You have to buy new furniture. Like me going from an apartment where I lived with three other people to living by myself, there were so many things that I didn't have because my roommates had brought them in the last place. So you finally get into the space. You finally set everything up the way you want it. And then you're like, oh man, I don't have any money left to decorate. But I've been in the space for a few months. I've saved my money. I've really planned out exactly what I wanna do and it is time for me to start decorating. So I think this is the first of a few episodes of like a little mini series where I'm decorating my apartment because this we're just focusing on my coffee bar today. If you watched my moving series when I was moving in, you know that the coffee bar was like a big deal for me and I have an espresso machine, a coffee pot. I have a lot of different things and I wanted to make sure that there was space for it. Currently, it looks like this. <laughs> it's bad. You're probably wondering, Alexis, why is there a towel on top of it? Well, funny story. I have a pipe up here, you can see it. It's one of my heating pipes and I have a few in the apartment. Ever since I moved in, this little, little corner of a pipe makes the loudest noise. It just sounds like someone like clanking on something, which is fine. New York City heaters make annoying noises. I've honestly been in a lot worse. The other night, I'm sleeping and it's like 5 a.m. I'm dreaming that there's something leaking. I wake up and I realize that I wasn't dreaming the dripping noise, like that was real. <laughs> and I was like, that's weird, but I'm just gonna ignore it. Maybe it's something outside, I'm tired. So I kept trying to sleep, but then I was like, no, that noise is definitely coming from inside my apartment. So I stood up, it's like super dark, I'm like wandering around and I come over here and this towel was not on there at this point because I was not expecting the heating pipe to start dripping water. So I had like my coffee grinder on top and this jar of sugar and this mason jar. They're all like soaking wet. There's water running down the wall. I was like, hmm, that's interesting. And to make it even better, it wasn't just like average water. It was like really dirty brown water. And I was like, that's, Great, that's really good. I'm pretty sure that they were maybe turning off the heat since it's March and tomorrow it's gonna be 75. Like it's getting pretty warm in New York. I'm hoping that it just leaked because they were turning it off. I probably should have called my super and asked about it, but I don't feel like bothering him. We're just gonna hope that doesn't happen again and we're gonna set up this coffee cart all pretty. And then if it leaks again, I'm probably gonna get really depressed, but it's fine. That's my mistake and I'm willing to make it. Let's get into decorating this coffee cart. Then I can actually use it because right now I'm still carrying my coffee appliances into the kitchen to make my coffee and then bring them back out. In preparation for this video, I did buy some stuff on Amazon. So let's open that up and see what it looks like. I haven't opened the boxes yet because they just came yesterday and hopefully everything looks like what I thought it would. I got two boxes. I think one has mostly everything in it and then this one just has a few things. I think these are fake plants. Oh, this is cute. I was kind of worried. I didn't know if they were gonna look cute or not. They're very like furry. I like wanted to get plants that were a sage green color since a lot of stuff in my apartment sage green. All right, this guy's looking a little busted, but it's fine. Amazon haul. If you're interested in any of this stuff, I do have an Amazon storefront. So I'll link all of these things in my storefront in the description of this video. So starting it off with some syrups. I like Tarani syrups. I think it's what Starbucks uses. Even though I'm more of a Dunkin' flavor girl than a Starbucks person, I, do enjoy these flavors. I have a little one right now of vanilla, but so I got this three pack. Classic caramel, vanilla, and classic hazelnut. I don't like hazelnut that much, but at the same time, I don't think I've ever really tried it. We got this coffee filter holder. Can I open this up? So I have triangle coffee filters. They're like the cone shape. They're really ugly. Like I currently just keep them in this box. So I thought it would be nice to have like a little holder to keep them in. Will this bite me in the butt when the pipe leaks again and they all get ruined? Yeah, but 
It's a risk I'm willing to take. I bought this really cheap bag of Amazon coffee beans. I want to, I have this big mason jar that I kind of want to fill with coffee beans. I thought that could be kind of cute and just keep that as like a decoration. But then I also have like emergency coffee beans if I need them. I got these two wooden boxes to keep things in. Like I have a little cup to froth my milk in and I have a separate frother and a measuring cup. So just little things that I can keep these in. And I also have some stuff from Home Goods. So I do already have some coffee mugs. They're all a little random because they don't match and you know, they're all like special, sentimental to me. So that's great, but I don't really wanna display those on my coffee bar because I want it to be very aesthetic. So I'm gonna keep those in my kitchen and keep these aesthetic mugs that I may or may not use out on the coffee bar. I thought this was so cute. They say espresso on them and they're just four little espresso mugs. And then I got these sage green mugs. So here's what we're working with. As a little bonus, after we decorate the whole coffee part, I think we're going to keep my alcohol on the bottom shelf, but we'll get into that after we do finish the coffee part. But I think that my alcohol is going to live best on this coffee cart as well. Cause right now it's just in my kitchen, like in a weird space, doesn't really fit in. So here are all the things that I got. So now let's, let's get into actually decorating. All right, I'm gonna move this ladder because I feel like it'll be in my shots. I have, in fact, gotten some questions about the ladder. No, I don't just keep it there. I just feel like I'm always climbing up on my ladder to get something down, and every single time I film, it's there because I don't put it away that often, but it does fit under the couch. Let's just take everything off of it so we can have a fresh start. I'm gonna give it one more wipe down since we had the little dirty water incident, and then we're gonna start figuring out what looks best. <laughs> My floor is particularly squeaky over here, if you hear that. My floor is actually really terrible. That's like the one thing about my apartment that really bothers me is it's super squeaky. Like you, you could not sneak up on anybody in here. I mean that and the fact that I guess it's one room, so how could you sneak up on someone? There's still a little stain on the wall from where it dripped. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of gross. I'm going to clean that up. Um, I don't know if you can use a Clorox wipe on the wall, but it's working. It's so silly. Like, I do not want to be an inconvenience to anybody. I feel like literally the windows could fall out of my apartment and I'd be like, oh my God, like, don't worry about it. It's totally fine. Like, yeah, there's like a family of birds living in my room, but they, they've been really nice. Like, they haven't pecked me that many times. So don't, do not even worry about sending someone over. So I guess the moral story is I'm not gonna call about this pipe even though my wall's all dirty and I didn't even know. Okay, good enough. Somewhat wiped up the wall. We're just gonna hope we don't really see that. Fun fact, this is my buzzer right here. So that's like what I used to let people into the building. And I did not measure this at all. I knew it was gonna be a little too wide and it would either block my light switch or my buzzer. And I was like, whatever, I'll just like let it block my light switch a little, I don't care. I swear I did not measure this height. It fits perfectly in here, so I can still back this up against the wall. All right, here's all the chaos around me right now. So all the stuff I need to put on my coffee bar. Let's start putting this stuff together on my coffee bar. So we have to figure out how to make all my appliances fit and also be functional. If um, you haven't seen it before, I have this very long extension cord that is plugged into the plug behind the fridge because there's no plug out here, which is very inconvenient. The closest plug is by the windows over here. So we had to wrap this like extension cord out, which is fine, but I'm going to have to figure out a way to hide it and make sure everything can plug into it. I only have three things I need to plug in. I have my coffee pot, I have my espresso machine, and I have my coffee grinder. I'm also gonna shut my window because there's kids screaming outside and they're annoying me. I'm trying to decide if I want the espresso machine and the coffee maker up here because they're both like the main attraction, but I feel like they're taking up a lot of space. Also, fun fact, I have these little S hooks and you can hang stuff on it. I gotta do some thinking. These mugs are looking gray right now. Why did, they looked green in the store, but now that I'm wearing a green shirt, they don't. What the? So I guess I could, do a little hangy thing like this, but then I feel like you can't really see it. Now I do use my coffee pot a little more than my espresso machine these days, but I guess it wouldn't be the end of the world to use it down here. I didn't, I didn't think this would be so hard. Okay, I'm like, I could hang up two cups here. 
I just kind of feel like I need to use the S hooks, right? Like that's cute to hang them. All right, I'm just gonna leave them hanging like that for now. I might move it. Okay, I think I hate it all four across. So I put two up here, two hanging here, and then maybe the coffee filters here, if they fit. Oh, that's nice. Okay, what's a little annoying was I got the ones that are, like they have this lid that just pops up so you don't have to twist it, but the hazelnut, a twist slid. What's up with that? Um, it's fine though because I'm not gonna use hazelnut that much. So then my idea for the other box was I have a lot of things like I have this little, I, you put milk in it, a frothing cup. Is that what it's called? I have a frother, I have this little scoop, and I have other espresso lids for when you scoop the espresso into the machine. We're just gonna set it up here for now just to get it out of the way. Right now I have my coffee grinder and my espresso machine down here. I could bring the espresso machine up here, but I think I kind of want this space to be a little more open. I don't want it to be so cluttered. I feel like the grinder might look good up here. Unless we don't hang anything, and we just do this. Unless we don't hang anything right here, we just have the S hooks in case. So I think this little thing of tools and stuff, we're gonna keep down here. These plants are actually so cute. What if we like... Did something like that. Will I knock these espresso things off if I keep them up here? It's hard to say. I could like hang one. I can't tell if that's artsy or stupid. Okay, I had to do a little bit of deliberating and call Jonah because I was stressed. I wanted to make sure this actually looked good. I think this is how I'm gonna have the top part. I think this all looks really nice together. This plant is getting cut. There's not enough room. So I'll just put this on my mantle or something. Still think for aesthetic purposes and extra coffee, I'm gonna clean this mason jar and I'm gonna put these coffee beans in it. Oh no, no. And now I'm gonna be picking up coffee beans off the ground. Okay, I would say this is looking pretty nice. Now we have the bottom shelf and we have to figure out the wiring, but on the bottom shelf, I'm gonna store my alcohol. I don't have that much alcohol, so I feel like it's like easy to just put it right there. Okay, wait, I'm now realizing that this is gonna be really embarrassing, showing you what alcohol I have. Since I moved to this apartment, I have really just been buying drinks places. I haven't really been making my own. So the alcohol I have is just like stuff that was left over that we still had some of at my old apartment that I was like, yeah, I'll take that. I have like a fourth bottle of Screwball. I have Old Smoky Moonshine Buckeye flavored. If you know, you know, go Bucks, Ohio. This is my tribute to Ohio, but I've never tried it and I'm kind of scared to. This actually I got the other night. This is just Espelon tequila. This is like the only normal thing I have. I have whipped cream vodka. It was like on sale at this liquor store in Kentucky I went to with my dad three years ago for like $8 or something. So I was like, yeah, just throw it in the cart and I've never drank it. I have this huge collection of just bowls full of nips. I have no idea why I have so many. I have these two Moscow Mule Cups that we'll keep down there as well because I don't really have room in my kitchen. These nips actually look terrible. I feel like I need something better to store them in. I found these buckets that I don't have anything in. That's, that's a little better. All right, and now to figure out all of these cords. Okay, this already looks so much better. I feel like in my videos before, I would constantly be filming with this in the background and it would look so terrible, especially when we had this towel and the little leak going on. I think that looks really nice. Okay, let's let's do a little tour of it now. So up here we have the box with my syrups, the little plant, and the espresso mugs. I decided against hanging the one up right here. I just felt like maybe that was a little uneven and weird. Then on the middle shelf, we have my four normal mugs, my coffee filter holder, and then I put the plant to hide the buzzer. Maybe that'll get annoying when I actually have to buzz people in, but I do not have that many visitors. Then down here, we have the coffee grinder and the coffee pot. Then down here, we have my espresso machine. We have all of the tools for the espresso machine, milk frother, more coffee beans, sugar. And then down here, we have my alcohol. We have my two little tubs of nips, my full bottles, and my mouse cow meal cups. And then I can continue to add more as I grow my alcohol collection. This coffee cart I've been planning for a while and I really just wanted it to be simple. I wanted it to be like woods and greens and I think I did a pretty good job at picking stuff out if I don't say so myself. So I hope you enjoyed decorating my coffee cart with me. 
Expect more decorating videos coming up in the future because I have a lot of pictures I need to put up on my walls and a lot of just other furniture that I'm getting and putting together and kind of making my apartment settled and finally completed. But thanks for being patient with me as I moved in and I had to save my money and <laughs> figure out what the heck I wanted to do with the space. But I think this is going to be a great addition. So I'm very happy how that turned out. If you haven't yet, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you next time. Bye, love ya.